right, so I've got a package from Flopball. And this one's a little different. They've been making some new products and it's the same kind of material and same concept except it's a new shape. So I'm pretty excited to check this out. What I like about Flopball is he's been putting out toys that are very minimal, but they're so minimal that they make you, they basically force you to be creative and come up with concepts of playing with them. So let's check this out. Uh, thank you for the extra flop ball. I believe this is that emoji meme bird, except he put a fl flop ball on him. So yeah, these are the flop hoops, floops, don't really know what they're called. They're like circles, and then he's got these really long snake-like flop ball type things. I like how it's bendy. Uh, yeah, these are very interesting toys. So a normal flop, you know, like has some squishiness to it and can, you know, get smashed in. So you can take it and kind of like smash it into a ball almost, which you can do this similar thing with this long one. But these are pretty tough. These are kind of, you know, they don't give as much. So yeah, these are pretty interesting. I like how they have a sewn inside ream type thing. It gives it a good aesthetic. Ooh, double sided color. It's definitely different. So like these are toys that kind of force you to come up with new ideas. And I've been seeing him posting a lot of stuff where he'll, you know, he'll use the ring and the, the stick to kind of do tricks like that, like passing through and all that type of stuff. But yeah, all, like always, these are made of a really good material. It feels really nice. Super interesting concepts that he's coming out with. And I really like how they force you to be like a contemporary juggler. So yeah, I guess there's not much to describe about them. So I guess I'm gonna jump right into making an edit. I know it's a bit soon. I usually talk about the products a little bit longer, but I've reviewed the flop balls before. But yeah, I think I'm just gonna get up and start using these right away. See what I can come up with.
guy, these are super fun. I approve. They're really cool. I like the fact that this company is making things that basically force you to think abstract and play abstract. I didn't really have much to say about them at first, but now I do. It's really cool, like, so when you're using this and you spin it in the air, the sand separates on either side, making the middle weak, so you can catch it like a Bali song, and you can play with it like that while this middle piece is missing the sand. So it's kind of like thumb chucks mixed with Miyachi, a hand hacky sack. So I, I didn't think this thing was gonna be that cool, but this does have a lot of playability on its own. And then the circles are really cool. Like these are what I think force you to think more abstract. You can juggle them like anything else, but you can, you know, spike your hand through and do a bunch of different combos with it. Since they're mushy, you know, you can slide them in and out of each other and come up with some pretty crazy stuff. And when you combine all three, it gets even nuttier. You know, like that Bali song break right here in the middle can be incorporated with the ring. So it's like its own toy. It's basically like juggling Legos, you know? And it's up to you to figure out ways to make games and, and come up with combos and play with it. There are no rules, really. Like these things have no rules and that's why I really admire this company. It's because he's kind of pushing these minimal toys that have extremely maximum play. And like their other products, the flat ball, these are made very well. It's a super smooth, soft material, and the sand inside is, is very fine. It's like almost powder-like. It's a very fine sand. Same with these things, like you can feel it. It's, it's not beads, it's not plastic, it's real sand. So he's taken these hand hacky sacks and made very high quality products with them. And it's really cool, you know, like, anyone who's a beginner at juggling or playing with skill toys can pick these up and start messing around and it's it's perfect for beginners and it's also really good for advanced players it's definitely gonna make people contemporary jugglers and that's a really cool thing like it's not even forceful you know what i mean like it's taking abstract shapes when it comes to juggling and making you come up with different ways to play with them and that's what I like about it. So yeah, these don't get a frown, they get a smile. They're really fun. I highly suggest checking out Flatball. They make really good products. The owner is super nice, super cool guy. It's called Flow Circus. That's the overall company and Flatball is under Flow Circus where they're making these hand hacky sack type toys. And yeah, I think that they have the best quality hand hacky sack out there. You really can't go wrong with a purchase from them. And these are great for kids and great for adults too who love to play. Another thing is, is you wouldn't think it, but these are a workout. It's a lot like Kendama where you have to be jumping and bouncing a lot, falling with it so that you can make the right precision catches and stuff like that. So it's a really good workout. It's not just something that you will play with and not break a sweat. You will break a sweat. You know, you could play with the flop ball sitting down, but if you really want to get into it, stand up and start doing harder tricks, like, it's a really good workout. Makes me tired. So yeah, I highly recommend this company. They're putting out really cool products. I appreciate what he's doing. It's really cool. So go check them out. Get yourself some flop balls and flop hoops and flop sticks <laughs> and start playing.